What's up, Pons family, and welcome to this uh, Valentine's Day tutorial. Can I call it a Valentine's Day tutorial? It's not your typical Valentine's Day look. Screw it, we're gonna be sultry blue and purple vixens on Valentine's Day. And holy shit, can I say Valentine's Day any more than I already did? Valentine's Day, Valentine's, Valentine. Let's do it. All right, so I'm wearing a shirt, for once, we should not wearing a shirt, and a kind of sassy ponytail. It's not like super sassy, just half sassy. I'm starting off with some primer. This is the Hydrating Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. Apparently saying hydrating once wasn't enough, so I had to say it twice. For today, I'm going to do something a little different. I wanted to try this out since I got this product. I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation and these Cover FX Drops. I have not used these yet, so I'm just going to mix them into my foundation and see kind of what it looks like. Add a little bit of a dew to it. I'm using liquid foundation, which will probably work the best with the other liquid drops. Mixing mainly the foundation, like two parts foundation to one part of the cover effects, and just using a beauty blender to put that all over my face. It's a pretty medium to full coverage, and you can obviously add more if you'd like, but the amount that I had on my hand was enough to cover my entire face. And since the cover FX drops seem to be so pretty, I thought I'd add just a little more on the high points of my face. And they're nice because they really do just blend right in. And added to the foundation, it gave me kind of like an inner glow, which I was pretty about. For concealer, back to my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because it's my favorite in the entire world. Part shape tape are great, but come on. And I'm using just a little bit because I don't want to go too ham with the concealer. Mainly keeping it over my eye bags and a few little areas on my face. This also helps to mute down the shine because the shine that I did put down into my foundation will just accentuate my eye bags. So I want to map that down. Setting my face now, I'm using a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder and this is just to set the parts that are gonna get a little oily. I don't wanna go too much over the shiny kind of high point areas that I left open. And for those areas to set, I am gonna use these meteorites and of course dropping them all over the ground. But I've used this in a couple tutorials. It gives you a really soft set and gives you a little bit of a shimmer if you're into that. Nothing new here, going in with my Makeup Geek Breakup Contour Powder. I'm sure you guys are like, all right, yep, breakup, we get it. But it is the perfect cool tone for pale, pale beauties. And of course covering that, that there double chin. But whew, make sure you blend that shit out because I saw a side profile picture of me and it wasn't that blended out and it's like, oh fuck, Jordan, blend that shit out. It's serious. Now that we're all fancy and glowing and contoured, I did my eyebrows really quick because we know how I feel about eyebrows. And I'm using the Smashbox Shadow Primer all over my lids. I usually don't use primer, but this is going to be a really intense colorful look, so you definitely want to use primer. The Tarte Lip Palette is going to be the palette we use for mainly like our transition tones and shit to get into the bright color and the base shadow we're going to use. Just put a base shadow of your color all over the lid because this will help the other shadows blend nicely on top. With these two pinks mixed together, I am going to just put this all over the lid. If you're a darker skin tone, I would suggest grabbing a little bit of the darker pink next to these two. And we're just going with a light wash. So I don't think I've ever used this palette actually, like for realsies, I've maybe touched it a little bit here and there. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm going in with this kind of purpley pink shade, mainly in the crease, kind of focusing on the outer V with a really big fluffy brush, but slowly bringing it onto my lid as well. The lid, you don't have to worry too much about. We're not trying to completely cover in color. We're just starting out the transition from our skin tone into the purple. And now going with said purple, which is called Urban in the Urban Decay palette. What do you know? And I'm using a very, very, very light application, mainly using it right in the crease. But keeping a very light application will softly blend it into that first original pink we put down. Also try to keep your brush more on your mobile eyelid and use the end bristles towards the crease. The technique of where you place your brush will really come in handy just so that you don't have all the colors muddled together and they have a nice gradient. Now switching to a Sigma shader brush and this matte blue in this palette. Grab the color and tap a little bit off onto the palette just because it does have a little fallout and oh shit, speaking of fallout, you can use a lot of translucent powder under the eyes to help catch that fallout so you can just swipe it away really quick. I forgot to mention that, my bad. 
Use that brush to pack that color all over your lid and go back in with that fluffy brush with a little more purple to start the blend of the blue into the purple. Again, brush placement truly matters here because we want to keep most of the color on the lid and slowly blend it upwards. Add a little more blue back if you took some away while you were kind of blending it out. And just continue this process until you are happy with your little smoky eye. It's all about layers, so you're gonna have to do a few layers. Dipping back into the Tarte palette, I'm pointing to this dark purple shade, but it was a little too light for me, so I'm actually using the blackish one. And just packing this right against my lash line for a little bit of darkness, but putting blue over top of that so it's a nice and dark blue. Back to the fallout. There was a lot. You can see it all over my cheeks. And if you use a fluffy brush and just swipe it away real fucking fast, you usually able to get most of it. For a super shimmery light purple, I'm using Artist Couture Supernova, which is a diamond highlighter. And I wet my brush just a little bit when putting this in my inner corner. I brought it all the way under my lower lash line. So this is a kind of different look for the under eye, but I think it looks really cool, is to, instead of bringing that color all the way against your lash line, is to just bring it into that little crease that's kind of under your eye. I'm just using the blue and purple to do so, just to make my eyes look like they're a little more sultry. Since the eyes are so dark, I'm gonna keep the blush super light. This is Benefits of Dandelion, which is like a super ass light pink, and it's very ethereal. Put that all over the apples, and for my lashes, just using their Benefit Roller Lash for top and bottom. Pop on some lashes of your choice. What do you know? I'm not doing wing liner, which is Chrissy. I'm such a wing liner bitch, but I left it away for this one. I'm using New Bunsum's Dragon Lee Lashes. These ones are super full and out there. I feel like they're just gonna fucking make me fly away. And with Makeup Geek's Full Spectrum Liner in Cobalt, I am just gonna line my waterline. I'm doing all kinds of things I don't usually like to do. No wing liner, watering my waterline, who am I? For lips, I'm, oh, nope, I'm not doing the lips quite yet. I'm adding a little bit more of those Cover FX drops because why not? Especially in the inner corner with a very small brush from Sigma just to bring attention there. So they're super shimmery. Now for the lips, I am using one of Makeup Forever's new liquid lipsticks. They came in, I think it was five or six nude shades. So I'm using this kind of dusty rose, which actually just happened to match my dress quite perfectly. And when doing this look, I was like, fuck, I wanna do something different with my lips. They always look quite similar. So if you follow Rob Beauty Christie, which you should, you should do that with your life right now if you don't. She always does this really beautiful look where she adds a little bit of darkness in the center of her lips and it kind of fades out into a lighter tone. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Acryl Lip to do so, which is not a liquid lipstick. It will not dry matte, but I like the little bit of glossy look towards the middle of my lips. Using a finger to pat it out is super easy, but if you want it to stay all night, you could happily just use another liquid lipstick. Thus doing things that I don't usually do. You know I gotta hit that beauty markup. Bam. And that is the entire tutorial. I mean, obviously you should set your face with a setting spray. That is usually good, but you know. I really hope you guys liked it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I know it's not your typical Valentine's Day look, but um, fuck, I'd wear it for Valentine's Day. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already. Let me know what you think down below and uh, I will just see you in the next video. Oh, and I love the fuck out of you. Cool. <laughs> that is an angle, if there ever was one.